guys and happy holidays. Today is our time at Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party. We got to go to last year's Christmas party, but I feel like this year's is the one that's really gonna count because everything is back in full blast. And I'll wait to see the Christmas time parade. And my mom and aunt are here. We're wearing these hilarious outfits. We have matching ears and we have little ho shirts. So the three of us say ho, ho, ho. And it was so funny as we were walking in, someone says, what's up hoes? It was so hilarious. It was such a good way to start the evening. We're gonna be taking this evening really, really casually. We're gonna be enjoying everything that Disney World has to offer as far as the Christmas party, especially all of the shows and all of the parades. And I am so excited to be able to take you guys along. Let's celebrate some festive holiday times together. <laughs> so the party starts at seven o'clock. You could get into the party at four o'clock. It is about five minutes until seven. And so we're gonna start heading towards Cinderella Castle because we want to see Mickey's Merriest Celebration, which happens to be the first show of the evening that features all of our favorites, especially Clarabelle the Cow. You guys will understand if you haven't seen it already. And you'll have to let me know down below if you have been to the Christmas party or are planning on going to the Christmas party this year. So let's go to the castle and let's watch an amazing show. Gosh, yes, get it, wow. Hello. Look at your signs. Oh my gosh, Hi. that is so cute. Yes. We've made it to the first very Merry Christmas sign. We're going through the alternative exit here at Magic Kingdom to enter the park because they are checking wristbands right now. We've got the trio of hoes. We've got my mom, this is Brenda. Hello. And then also my Aunt Terry. Hi. <laughs> and we are ready to have some Christmas fun. Are you guys ready? Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. Ooh, oh my gosh. Okay, so our very first stop on the cookie trail is this beautiful 50th anniversary for Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party. Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party, Walt Disney World 50th, and it has the gold on it. And it says 2022 on the back, that is so cool. Okay, so Mickey's Merry Celebration is gonna start in about 30 minutes. And we decided why not just be right in front of the castle. So this is our current view. As you can see, there's a few people ahead of us. But wow, look at that view. And we are not zoomed in, my friends. Stunning. And so my friend Jen, who you guys have met on the channel before, her and her family are here as well. And so we're hoping that they're gonna be able to make it for the showtime. So fingers crossed. But I'm so excited to see Goofy in his Christmas sweater and excited to see Clarabelle and all the gang in this awesome show. This year, and oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. It has the 50th castle and the toy soldiers on the front. So it has all the different specialty foods and beverages, character meet and greet experiences, holly jolly photos, and the event guide over here on the right hand side. Also, there is a complimentary print that we will be able to pick up at the end of the event as well, which is so, so exciting. I cannot wait to frame that and put that in my holiday display. That is totally going up this year.
was definitely better than last year's. I loved seeing Clarabelle and also Panchito shaking his little tail feather. And they had all new outfits this year, like completely new with completely new hats and accessories. It was awesome. I loved that show. This was your first time seeing the show. What did you think about it? Oh, it was good. Yeah, wonderful. We are stopped at a parade area on Main Street. So we are right across from the watches and from the Main Street Cinema. We've got the Citizens Clock Tower right in front of us. And we're really excited to see the show. See the parade here in just a few along those lines. Got to see them last year and I fell in love with them. And they have this specific projection that is little uh, little bears that go up and down and it is the cutest thing ever. And also I wanted to talk, let's talk a little bit about the parade too. Um, hello cast members. Finally, we had just so many cast members in the parade. It felt full, it felt normal, it was really, heartwarming to see all of the people kind of back. We had so many tin soldiers. I think that we had at least twice as many tin soldiers in the parade as we did last year, which was really, really cool. We also had a couple of new things. We had a new army man car, like with the green army men from Toy Story. That was new. And then we also had a different Santa Claus than we did last year, but it was such a lovely parade. It will forever be one of my most favorites, just like Boo to you. And so we're gonna get ready. We've got like four minutes left before the fireworks. Let me know down below what your favorite fireworks show is. I'm very curious. Oh, a lot of you love wishes. I know that. <laughs> I'm a big happily ever after person.
again. Oh. <laughs> exactly. Okay. That's how I feel too. <laughs> yeah, there was no. So oh yeah. Yeah, that's fair. So this is a sold out party. I just want you guys to see what's coming into Tomorrowland. These crowds for a Christmas party are crazy. Like this is like more than pre-pandemic, I would say, that I remember. I'm gonna consult older vlogs that I've had from other Christmas parties and Halloween parties and see, but it feels like it's more than normal. Yeah, it's, it's a pylon, the candy cane pylon led us to uh, the lunching pad and it, they have a sugar cookie and apple cider which happens to be my most favorite cookie of the trail so I'm really excited actually. Yeah. Thank you. Oh these look so yummy. Oh yes a little shot. I have a little tiny apple cider and then this is the cookie. Oh it looks so good. The best ride ever. There's really nothing like today in tomorrow. For your safety, if you have wings, Space Mountain turns into a rave for the Christmas party. <laughs> It turned people mover from like a relaxing, nice ride to like a very intense dance party over here. Oh, yeah. Woo! Yeah. We're gonna show you how they break it down. Do a full stop. Here we go. Here we go, yo. We just left Club Tinsel in the Starlight Cafe, and that DJ in there was so funny. He was playing at Life Is a Highway, which we obviously I can't put on the vlog because it's like copywritten. Um, but he's like, y'all, I'm driving a Prius. What are y'all driving? And then. <laughs> This little girl like wouldn't do the driving motion that he was like encouraging her to do and and he goes oh she's driving a Tesla uh, it was so entertaining so if you're looking for like a really good place to like relax but like still have that good like party energy that is like such a great place to go it's like right beside like right on the very outskirts of Tomorrowland it was super cute but we were a little bit too late to get Eric and Ariel but the line is super long. It would take the entire time that we are at the party. So we've decided to skip and keep moving on. It's okay, I've met them both before. Okay, now although we didn't go and visit Eric and Ariel, we did go and visit the next best thing. Now I'll insert a picture for y'all. We're heading on to Mine Train. It's only a 25 minute wait and I really don't think that it's even that. And my aunt and mom really love this ride. Who doesn't love this ride? Do you? Wait. Do you love this ride? <laughs> Let me know down in the comments down below. Hi ho, hi ho, it's off to work. Let's go. Kingdom happy holidays now I forgot to close out the vlog while I was there so I did have a few thoughts that I wanted to share with you and see kind of what you thought as well so first of all the last party I went to the last like Disney party was in Disneyland I went to the Oogie Boogie Bash and I did not love the party situation there now I think because I'm always comparing it to <laughs> Disney World's parties now it felt like pre-pandemic Disney. Um, 
It was so much fun. They had so many things to do. It was definitely the party atmosphere, which I feel like was missing so much in Oogie Boogie Bash. There was music everywhere. There was lights. There was atmosphere. People were having a good time. Cast members we are, were so, so involved in everything that you were doing. They were so kind and so happy. And also, the fireworks were incredible. Those were my most favorite part of the evening. I love the specialty fireworks that they do for Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party. And so overall, it was a fabulous, fabulous night. The only thing I will say, it did feel more crowded this time than it does typically at parties that I've been to before. Usually when you go to a party, it's just a little bit more exclusive. It was so, so very packed. So there was a little bit of a difference there, but other than that, it was still a fabulous time. I would love to know what you thought of this event. You'll have to let me know down in the comments and if you're planning on going to any specialty events coming up in the new year. So thank you so, so much for watching. I had so much fun hanging out with you guys at the Christmas party and I hope that you enjoyed it as well. If you like this video, if you enjoyed it, subscribe down below for lots more magical content and I will see you guys in the next video. TTFN, bye. Uh. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.